Hello everybody and welcome back to Hot Ticket. I'm Kevin Hornsby for Cox 11, here having a familiar guest with us to talk about the great upcoming season for seven venues with Broadway Norfolk. Mari Hodges is with us. Hi Kevin, happy summer, nice to be with happy you. Happy summer and we did this last year. We are selling subscriptions to the Broadway Norfolk show for major shows. That's right and the opportunity to get good seats is starting right now. Exactly, great point. So this is the Broadway in Norfolk 2016-2017 uh, season. We have four amazing shows. The tickets, the subscription start mm -hmm. at $170 on up, which you know, you've gone to New York quite a bit. You know that's a really great deal for yes, four shows. Yes, it is. 170 and would be one show. Exactly, it'd be likely. one ticket, exactly. But these are four major shows and it's just the subscriptions to all four that Correct. are on sale right Correct. now. Correct, so no single tickets. We don't put the single tickets on until shortly before the show mm -hmm. if there is any inventory left. So right. this is the best way to get your best seats and um, access to, and if you get these seats, you can hold on to them from years to years. You okay. have the first right of refusal if you want to change them. So mm -hmm. it's really a great deal. And then we include our Broadway subscribers in on other deals that we mm -hmm. do at the venue. So they're the first to know about a lot of other shows that we put on. Well, you're starting off with a grand slam. You're starting yes. off with Annie. Yes, Talk everybody's lovable orphan, yes. Annie. So Annie, almost everybody knows the story, but it's how uh, a billionaire businessman takes her into his home and eventually into his heart. So we love this show. And the great thing about this show is a lot of people say, oh, I've seen it, I know the story. These choreographers, composers, mm -hmm. they know how to keep these shows fresh. Yes. This is a newer version of it. They rearrange the music a little bit. The sets are different, so. Hearing it done live within itself is just those live talented voices it it's just refreshing exactly and if you have kids and they don't know the story it's iconic so mm -hmm. it's a great thing for the whole family to enjoy so great way to kick off our series very strong show to start with and then one i did see in new york last winter my daughter pulled me to it we know the movie Elf. Elf. <laughs> Elf the musical. Oh, uh, Elf, yeah. Buddy <laughs> is another orphan, so yes. he crawls into Santa's <clears throat> toy bag, ends up back in the North Pole. When he grows to be six foot tall and has no skill set when it comes to making <laughs> toys, they figure out he doesn't belong there. Or social skills. Or, or social <laughs> skills. It's a very goofy, charming show, very family friendly, and it's all about the magic of Christmas mm -hmm. and, you know, how our belief in Santa and the season fuel the whole energy of that season. So it's a sweet show. Well, I wondered with Will Ferrell playing it in the movie if I was going to, you know, really be engrossed by it there. Mm -hmm. The facial expressions alone, the, the crazy voices, the crazy dialogue, it, it is just a, a joy. It's now, fun. leading into from that, from the composer of Wicked, we have Pippin. Pippin. Beautiful show, very beautiful show. The premise of the musical is told through a performance troupe, so very acrobatic, mm -hmm. soaring songs, very gorgeous to look at. It tells the story of a young prince, and he's trying to find his purpose in life, yes. which everyone can identify no matter your age. And yeah. it's just um, a deep show, very beautiful. Um, and it's the 33rd, as of last year, it was the 33rd longest running Broadway show, so it has some legs. Well, it, the acrobatics alone have to to create an interest among people, yes. but then with the music and everything as well. Yes, Wicked is known for its um, music, so mm -hmm. you can only imagine what Pippin, the music and the acrobatic feats that this cast um, pull together. It's just extremely beautiful to watch. And then if people aren't even into plays, if it's not their thing, the fourth and final offering of the season Motown. Motown. Motown the musical. We are so excited to have this. This is going to run for one week um, and it tells the story of Barry Gordy who mm -hmm. founded Motown Records and during the 60s and 70s he had a gift for identifying musical talent and then combining that talent with other talent and making iconic records and albums. He's worked with everyone from Gladys Knight and the Pips yeah. to Stevie Wonder, Stevie Wonder Jackson Wonder, 5. Exactly. Very, very talented. Just guy. iconic songs. Yeah. And he started out as a featherweight boxer and now he's a heavyweight <laughs> music mogul. So he went from one field to the other. But great story. And everyone mm -hmm. talking about music, everyone will recognize the songs. My yeah. Girl, all mm -hmm. those Motown favorites. So yeah. energizing, really good story show. What do you hear from people that um, have gotten a subscription before? Are they returning? What are Yes, 
they definitely they love it. They love the um, access and the privilege mm -hmm. of being able to see the seats first. We do a lot of events around the season. We'll have um, private parties for the yeah. subscribers, and again, they're the first to know about a lot of other things that we're doing. So, so it is an opportunity, and they need to jump on it right now. Thank you for being Thanks, here and sharing Kevin. this. Visit the website and find out all about the subscription for this year's season of Broadway Norfolk.